There are two things that traders should be doing today. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafiore, co-founder of SMB Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the trading classic, One Good Trade, and The Playbook. Traders must be game planning for the next big trading opportunity about to hit. And they must have a very specific mindset for the outsized opportunity in this market. Francis, noting two new coronavirus cases in France. Down to nearly 500 points. We need to be thinking about game planning for the next potential big event. What do you think that is, Jake? What do we need to be game planning for? U.S. soil coronavirus case. Spike. Yeah, yeah. So you need to be game. You need to be game planning for right now. What's going to happen if it hits the wire? that there are a few coronavirus cases, or even one, in a major U.S. city. That's going to happen. What are you going to do? What are you going to buy? What are you going to potentially short? What is going to be your game plan? And this is something that you need to be doing when there's major events that are around the corner for lots of different things. So we're going to talk about the coronavirus. We could pluck that out, substitute it for a for next really big event. Okay, but we cannot sit there at our desk when it hits the wire that in New York City there are three confirmed cases that uh, individuals have been, have, have contacted the coronavirus. And then try and figure out what to do. We need to know exactly what we're going to do. We even need to have potentially baskets set up for what you're going to do so you're literally just hitting a button. Okay? And, you know, and then from there, we're going to be open-minded, but this is going to be a big, this is a big breaking news opportunity. Okay? Whether it hits, doesn't matter. Whether it hits and it works, doesn't matter. But the idea that you are thinking of the next big opportunity does. This is an exciting opportunity. And so, you know, we talk a lot about risk management. Take your stops. You guys do a decent job of that. Some of you better than others. But risk management has, has two sides to the coin. The other side to the coin is to find the opportunities that you are really excited about. To me, this is an opportunity you should be really excited about. If you want to learn three real-world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven-figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That's going to open up this free registration page in the new window, so don't worry you're not going to lose this video. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. Typical things for new traders to be thinking about, I don't think you have to make this too complicated. What are you going to do in SPY? What are you going to do in volatility? Are you going to think about maybe taking uh, you know, one of the bigger high beta name stocks in as well? You know, so are you going to, are you going to short SPY? Are you going to buy volatility? Are you going to short one of the bigger names? Are you going to think about maybe something that's directly affected by a spreading of the virus? Okay, and then we're going to go from there. And you should be, right now, reading about how potentially bad this can get. There are really, really smart people who run big, big money who think the market has not priced in the effects of the coronavirus globally yet. And that's coming. And we're being too complacent to this point about where we're at. You know, we came in 4%. We had a little bit of bounce yesterday. Now we're coming off a little bit today. But there are smart people speaking up about this right now. That does not mean they're right. All right. And then there are other pretty smart people that are saying, you know, this is really going to just be like the flu. Fred Wilson, somebody that I talked to you guys about following. There's a really good video about a talk at Johns Hopkins, which I'll share with you guys. 
where uh, you know the people that deal with this stuff are basically saying, yep, lots of people are going to get it. Uh, where you may, pro you may potentially get it. Some people are going to get pretty sick, but it'll be fine. Other people are going to shake it off just like a typical flu. And that is, that is their thesis. And so if that's the case, then th that informs how you might think about trading this opportunity. You'll be more open-minded to a bounce. You know, you'll be more skeptical, since volatility is up so much, uh, really laying into the breaking news event when, when it hits a, new, a big U.S. city. Okay? But that idea of game planning, you guys got to do it. And I'll just say one more thing about this month relative to other months. This is probably going to come in at one of the best trading months that we've had as a firm, uh, if not the best. And for you guys, what that means is that this can be a month where you hit that next level as a trader. You should. I know a lot of you guys are young and just starting out. You should you should hit that next level as a trader. This can be a jump start to getting a level better, getting two levels better, that never leaves you because you, because you hit these, the, the, these different milestones. The opportunity in this month is outsized. You should be thinking, sit in your seat, be patient, wait for the right opportunities. When you see it, go for it. But the numbers really should be bigger. And you shouldn't be that impressed when the numbers are bigger. That's expected. Now it's your turn. What will you do if the coronavirus hits a big U.S. city? Let us know by leaving a comment below right now.